Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a great weekend. So it's time to do a marguerite challenge. Where do I put my coffee? Oh, there. Okay. So I hope everyone's well and having a lovely weekend. Um, what did I do yesterday? Had a bit of a relax yesterday and... Um, and I took Lulu out to get a few things. She needed to get a few bits of clothing. So that was our last one, CW Planner 14. And I had missed one and it was two of something. So I've got two doilies there. So I guess that's okay. Anyway, so we're going to do 15. Repeating pattern found in nature. That was a challenge. Um something in watercolor something musical washi tape calendar bonus a doodle okay so i all i had i could think of was honeycomb i guess you know if you look at the butterflies they kind of have a repeating pattern as well in their in their wings if you look at those they might not be exactly the same but it kind of um mirrors itself so I think I might put a couple of butterflies in as well, just in case. Um, watercolour. Well, I have this book. This book is called Diary of a Rose Lover. Diary of a Rose Lover. So I thought I might put the little house in or the flowers. Or I had these. I don't remember what book this is from. I have no recollection. I had these. These are watercolours too, I think. So I could choose from those. But I think I might use these. And then I'm going to put... This is from um, Artie Mays. I think it's her B kit. I can't remember what it's called exactly because I've had it for a while. Um, and I and that's the, I'll put that honeycomb in. I don't have a honeycomb. I thought about a honeycomb... Um, what do you call it? Stencil. But I don't have one of those. So I couldn't put one of those in. And I might stamp a bee somewhere too. Where's my, my lovely bee that I like to use? normally in here I've got little, my little mini bee in here if we're going to have the honeycomb we could have a bee I mean I can't find my bee my bee's gone where have you gone bee mm. it's usually there with my fleur-de-lis hmm. must have slipped it somewhere else it's not there no nope. Oh my goodness. Oh, here's my favourite bee. We'll, do, we'll stamp a bee, I think, there. That bee. Oh, I stuck um, some of that on there, so that makes it easier to stamp. Okay. Right, so something musical. Let's start with that. Well, obviously, obviously we're going to put musical paper. Oh, you know what I could have looked? Maybe in my Edith Holden colouring book, I might have had a repeating pattern a honeycomb but I didn't look there I don't think I, I it's tucked away so I won't pull that out got my music paper calendar well I have this calendar up here just a sec we'll put some of this calendar in I don't have much of it left but we'll we'll take a piece of that and put that in piece of calendar oh do, look June June from 1965 we'll put that in Okay, so let's start with those. I'm gonna, I might even keep that bit. We're nearly in June, aren't we? And I think I'll rip that bit off there. Got that bit there to use. Maybe we'll put that mirrored. I'm going to glue that on there and I'm going to keep that. And then you can see the lovely paper underneath. Not even thinking about it, just going to get into it. Grab my glue. So what is everyone up to? As I said yesterday, oh, I went to that um, charity thing. It was on again yesterday, and I just, I didn't get to, I did get, I was really amazed at, you know, what people, like they've given them to the charity and then the charity charge you. Some of their prices were more expensive than the antique markets. Um, but I did get um, some lovely, I've just drying them, uh, antique hemp pillowcases that had wonderful embroideries on them. So I just I'm just surprised at what people um, sort of get rid of. I'm just amazed that you know those are heirlooms and they just give them away. They just don't want them. 
I don't know. I just think it's bizarre. But anyway, I guess we've done that too. We've we've regretted it. I've been I've talked about it with Mum and Sass. You know, sold things that Granny had done and stuff like that. And we don't have, or you know, we just don't have them anymore. But Mum thinks she has some things stored away. But um, you just sort of think at the time you think oh, I don't need those anymore, and especially when you're younger. And then you don't appreciate them and think, oh, I wish I had those. I wish I still had that. So I'll put, we've got something musical, got a piece of calendar. I'll have to cover that mark up. I need to, I might even tear this like this. I'll keep that. That can be used here. And I might even put that somewhere, just the numbers. I think that's really cool. That's going to go somewhere. Okay, and then I've got to have my bee, my um, bit of honeycomb. So I'm, I'm wondering whether I'll keep all of it or some of it. I probably would put that maybe there if I decide to keep all of it. But I'd also like to put this lovely water, or the flowers or the lovely watercolour house. I have my first mozzie bite for the year and it's it's itching if anyone doesn't know what a mozzie is it's Aussie <laughs> for a mosquito okay I did want to put that now I might have to I've got my fabric scissors here let's put those in the in the container over there so I don't keep looking at them because I'll probably pick them up by accident and then they won't cut fabric anymore because they've been cutting paper. Okay, I'm going to put that house somewhere and I'm wondering, am I going to put... I think I might like this more torn. some fussy tearing and as I've mentioned before you can control it quite well if you keep your thumbs near each other I don't want to keep that bit okay oh, it's so pretty right See if we can get this composition happening. We could have the house down there. I may tear down the honeycomb. I'm going to stamp my bee. I want to put a butterfly. Oh, I like the colours. I'm going to have a sip of coffee. It's my last coffee for the day. Um, I could slip that action. Oh, I like that. That's it, you see. Maybe I'll put... I'm going to tear that off. I really did like the idea of these numbers, but let me just see if they'll work for me. I'm going to put, I could put them there. I'm not, oh, well, I like that page. So now we've got to sort out this page. So we've got watercolour we've got, we've got something repeating in nature is honeycomb, and also I think the butterfly, something musical, piece of calendar. We've got all of that. We haven't got any washi tape and we haven't got a doodle yet. Let me have a look at the washi tape. What's going on in the washi tape? That sort of, um, this is not, I, is this class as washi tape? This is the washi tape sort of paper that's, it's not sticky though. So I don't know about that. So washi tape, I, you know, I might use all six this time. Oh, look, I have this washi tape. It's a bit of a honeycomb sort of shape. So we'll have to use that one. Yes, I think we'll use that one. What else? I don't have. I don't think I have any purple washi tape. So we have a bit of purple. I do. I have. I can. I guess I can use these sorts of yellowy ones. Although that would just do it. That one. What do we have on here? No. It's this one. No. Okay. Just let me have a look in the blues. I've got my blues over here because I have a, 
probably a bit more of those. I do have a bit of green. I might slip a bit of green in there. Well, that green might be better. We'll keep that one out. Just was thinking I'd be lucky if I had a like a honeycomb one, but I don't. Okay, so I'll put that over there. This one I'll put down here. Okay. So I've got those out. Um, would it be too much if I had a little bit of music up there? I might like a bit of music up there. That. No, that's looking busy. Put my house up there, I think. And then... Oh, I'm kind of covering, does it matter if I cover the that bit of the calendar? Put that there. I'm just thinking. But no, I have all of that there. I like all of that there. So then I need to think for a second and sip on coffee while I'm thinking. Oh. What about... piece of this to bring in some green okay got squealing children now I think I like that down there now Well, I'll work it out. I will work it out. Okay, I'm going to. I'm actually going to start gluing things down because I can see. I feel like I can see them better when they're glued. I guess they sit better, don't they? Isn't it just it's it's a bit spoiling I think this challenge in the sense that it's just a a fun thing to do where you can just glue down things that you like that obviously fit in with the the challenge I find it like it's just pleasurable to do I think that there Put this one down next I'm happy to use these books because I hoard them. I don't use them. There's no point. There's no point to the hoarding. We've got to remind ourselves. Enjoy it. And also, like, I'm making something that I'm keeping, so why not use it? And I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to decide about my butterfly. So the first thing I want to do is, I like to use these, as you know, uh, for my, where I write my prompts. So let me see, I've got a green, what did I use in the last one? I didn't use one. Okay, so I might use this green one, I think. And I want to see where that's going to go. And then I need a little something for, um, to write my CW15 because I like to write that in a separate spot as you do and I'm just going through now I get asked where did I get these some of them are my sisters Roxy Creations by Sarah and some of them are mine my doilies that I have so that's quite nice um, yeah that's where I I don't think I have anybody else's doilies Maybe keep that one out to see. And that one. Oh, 
okay. Yeah, I'll look at those few. So I like that strip. No, I won't use that. Put that away. I quite like the colour of that. I think I'll use that one. Still not happy with this page. This page needs some more colour happening. Needs some more stuff to happen. I am happy with this. Now do I want to... I'm going to put a little bit of washi tape. I'm going to stick the washi tape there. Or maybe I like it there. I was going to fill in that gap there, but there's no reason why I have to. I think I'll put that there like that. I like the way that one's transparent. That's an MT. I think that's a Japanese one. might even be good I could even write my prompts in there but I don't want to cover it all up so I'll put that there I think I've got um, a kit with those the the beigey sort of ones uh, now this needs to go somewhere don't like it there or I could do the sideways thing no maybe I don't want to use one of those today I'm not liking it okay so now I've, I've hit a brick wall. I still have to... I'm going to do a doodle there, I think. I think we've done one before. Let me put that. No. So I've got that washi tape, and then I'm going to put this washi tape somewhere. Now let me just have a quick flip because I think we might have done a doodle before. I don't want to draw the same thing. Done that. Well, I was going to do something similar to that, so I'll have to change it. But I'm not, I don't know. I'm not, I don't normally do that stuff. And there we did it. So much fun. Um... Well, I'm going to have a label, I think. Oh, I know. Got green labels. If I've got the one I'm thinking of, because I, <laughs> yet again, I'm going to say it again, I need to print them out. I'm running out, I'm getting low. And of course, I do not have the green one that I wanted. That's not what I wanted. So maybe I'll use that one. Might use that one. You know what might be nice is a little bit of something with some script on it. No. I think that page is done. Now, do I want to write my prompts in there or do I want to write CW Planner? I'm very indecisive today. I still have my butterfly to put. Still need to stamp my B and I need to put something here. I might put that there. I 
I'm going to have some sort of label there and do my doodle. And I still need to put this washi tape. It's a little bit like honeycomb. Put that one there. Okay, so we've got three bits of washi tape. That's done. Okay, and then I still need to... I said no to this, but it, I think that's not the right one. It was the colour. So I just want to see what else is in here. Maybe something like... Oh, that would be good, that one. It's got the, even the writing on it. Or oh, that one. Let's pull those out. Oh, we've even got a musical one, but that's blues. I don't want blues. Okay. Okay. So I can have this one. So I'm kind of covering up my calendar. <laughs> That doesn't matter. I could put it there. I don't like that. I think I have to put it here. This colour. Okay. So that might go there a bit like a tab. I don't want to cover all that up because I really did like that. So I think I'll glue that down there. And I'll use this glue just to make sure it sticks. I accidentally left it open yesterday, so that's why it's blocked. I'm going to snip off my corners. Um, maybe the butterfly is not working for me. Okay, what am I going to draw? Just thinking what color Can I do it in green or black? Maybe black. Don't know. There's something vaguely botanical. Just make it up. Just making it up. 
Okay, there we go. That's that. My doodle is done. And I'm not sure, I don't like my butterfly, so I need to change my plan. What will I put there? I've put together a new kit for birds. I haven't um, prepared it for Etsy yet. I, well, I'll have to do that by the time I um, put this video up because then everyone will be asking me. So let me just cut out this bird and see if I would like that. I'm trying to find my little scissors. No, I'll have to use these scissors. And here I thought I was going to whiz through this video. <laughs> Not to be. Cut this bit out. And I leave a little border around them. I don't um, worry too much about, I don't, I'm not afraid of the white. Um, yeah, I don't worry too much about it. Just leave a little border around it. I think I prefer the bird, but that was meant to be my repeating pattern, you see, the, the butterfly. So maybe I will go back to the butterfly. Oh, dearie me. I'm having trouble making decisions today. I think it's also the colours here. I feel like I need more colour. Oh, well, I like that more already. I think I'm going to put that there and no bee. We'll say bye. I know butterfly. Say bye to the butterfly and we're going to glue that down. See? And we've got a bee and it's relevant to the honeycomb. I didn't cover up all of my calendar. That's that. I still feel like I need something else. I might stamp. Now, will I stamp my bee on a piece of fabric? Got this piece of fabric here. What the bee would look like stamped on there. So stamp it over here. I like that. It's a bit of a weird page, but it is what it is. And I'm just going to grab a bit of this. Oh, excuse me, doilies falling all over me. I'm just going to grab this. You know what? I might put some of this one underneath. Okay, stick that down here. I 
And because I've got four pieces of washi and I don't like that, I'm going to put this over here, up here. So I've got five pieces of washi. Okay, and then I want something there. I wonder if I could, hmm, could I draw, how do you draw honeycomb? It's like little, and then we've got another doodle. Doing it in pencil in case I make a boo-boo. And then here you go down like that. Oh, yes, that's how you do it. Okay, I can do it in pen now. I don't want, I'm going to do it in a finer pen, I think. What's this one like? Won't be perfectly even. It's supposed to be a repeating pattern. Look at that, I've gone already gone off my pencil mark. Not the best drawer in the world, but it'll do. It's a wonky one. I'm, I'm not really taking any care with it at all. Uh, okay, and then here we come down like that. And then another one here. Okay. Right. Bit of a crazy page, but that'll do. Okay, so here I'm going to write, not with this pen. I found my other pen the other day, and now I can't see it anymore. Oh, I'll put it away. Here it is. This is the one I like. So this is hashtag, I always forget that, hashtag CW Planner. 15 and then here we have to write down our things I'll write it small repeating pattern found in nature something in watercolour something musical washi tape calendar whoops bonus Um, doodle. Okay, so I think we've got it all. We've got repeating pattern found in nature's honeycomb. Um, some uh, something in uh, watercolor is this and this. Not that I painted it. It's but it was watercolor in the book. Uh, something musical, musical paper, washi tape everywhere, calendar here and here, and bonus the doodle. There we go. So that is it for today. I'm quite happy with it. I actually quite like it now. I like the bit of fabric there and, and the honeycomb there. I just felt like that little space needed something else. Um, was a bit of a struggle for a minute. Um, it's probably not my best page, but it will do the job. I'm quite happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I will be moving on to number 16. I haven't written that one down, so I need to, I need to do that. Um, so we will move on to 16. We'll do that next week. We might do two next week. And then I finish my book. Oh, I'll have to make another book. My book will be finished. I'm not covering that up. I like that. So there we go. And actually, I haven't stuck this down. This is the, 
this is the first page. I like to have the first page in the book. I might just stick that there. I think I'll just glue that there. We've got plenty of that pattern there. And then this book is finished, so I'll have to make another one. That was a good one. I liked that one. Nice birdies. Um, yeah. So sometimes it's a bit of a struggle, but I'm quite happy with that page. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you have a great Sunday. Just a quick little Sunday video. Um, we didn't have a, a quick Saturday video, but we did get a Sunday one. So I will see you tomorrow for my Roxy's Weekly Challenge. Have a great Sunday. Bye.